Okay, so a treat pouch that will stay open nice and easily so you can get into it quickly and give a reward and you don't need to hold it in the other treat in your other hands. For this particular exercise, you'll need to use your hand as a bowl for some of the others. But for this one, you just want to be able to use it directly from the treat pouch. So we want something that stays open, that's nice and easy to access, a pocket um, is too awkward to get in and out of, and um, uh, most treat pouches are a bit too floppy or they fall off your belt, so having a nice easy one, um, a bum bag is quite often a useful item, so you can use that. The idea is to take the collar, give the reward, release, using both hands, take the collar, give the reward, release. You can do this when she's already sitting or standing or walking towards you, take the collar, you wait, get the sit, reward. If your dog is facing away from you when you've taken the collar, you would take it and move yourself into position, not putting your dog towards you. Collar grab, get the sit, reward. Collar grab, sit, reward. Letting go after you've got um, a good sit. And you would do the same for putting the lead on and off. You'd collar grab, give the reward, take your lead, which is ideally a waist lead, attach it to the collar, release. Okay, so it's nice and clear. Um, the feel on the collar should be much more like taking a toddler's hand when you're crossing the road, nice and firm and confident, not pulling them around, not manipulating them, not making them go into a sit, but just like a nice confident feel um, so that you're keeping them safe.